In today's video, I want to show you guys on how to make a Google Slides presentation that is Halloween themed, which will definitely spice up your upcoming presentations, whether it be for school, work, business, or whatever it may be. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So here I am, I have my new Google Slides presentation. Now what I'm going to do is simply, I'm going to change the theme here. If you don't know how to get there, you can just click theme. And I'm going to click it to be a simple dark theme, right? I'm just going to get rid of this right now because I don't need that. And I, be, I want to be working on the background. So what I want to do here is I want to make kind of like a graveyard theme looking presentation for my first slide. So I'm going to hit the background here and I'm going to change the background to a gradient image, which I can just make it into kind of like a night, um, like a night theme, right? So what I'm going to do is I can I actually make a new uh, gradient here in Google Slides, make it a linear gradient and have the top. This this purple is a little bit is nice, but I want to just make a different color and make it a little bit darker, like a dark purple like that, right? And uh, that, that is great so far. And now here uh, for the other end, I just want to make it into a black, like a really black uh, thing. So it looks like this. It looks like a, a dark purple to a um, black, so solid black uh, thing. So it looks like this, right? It looks pretty great. Now what I want to do here is I want to make a new shape and it's going to be the moon. So I'm going to put the moon here in the corner, as you know, when you're a kid, you draw the moon in the corner and you could just make it with a, like a yellow fill and a transparent outline. So now it looks like this. Now what I can do here is obviously I can go to flaticon.com to look for icons and I can just type in bats because obviously bats are in the Halloween spirit. Um, I can just grab a couple of these bats. Um, I'm just gonna copy it right here. Hit the copy PNG. It will now implement it to my slides. And now as you can see here, these bats definitely make this Google Slides kind of come to life. You kind of just want to make them like, uh, I don't know, like change, change the sizes a little bit. And if the bats are harder to see, you can definitely change this um, gradient background here by uh, changing the color a little lighter. So if I go here and make this custom color here, oops, I can just make it a little bit like this. So now you can see that the bats are now easier to see, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for fences here and these fences are gonna be like in the background. Um, this is gonna be more to like, like kind of keep off the graveyard uh, vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like it kind of has, a, you have like a little border in the back to kind of keep people off the graveyard, right? So just doing this, I uh, just copied and pasted the fence. I'm going to now go ahead and kind of just make a little pattern with this fence. And you can see it is slowly coming to life, right? Like our, our presentation is slowly coming to life. Now what I wanna look for is like a tomb. And this tomb is gonna be in the background, right? Um, we wanna make one, maybe this color. This is a cool, a cool tomb right here. And we wanna put him in the back, right? So by putting him in the back, we can do this. And I'm gonna just send it over to the back. I'm gonna do order and then send it back. So you can see how this is now in the back, right? You could just have different tombs like this. And I know this is a little bit to um what is it too opaque so i could definitely change the um the color of it sorry the adjustment and lower down the opacity a little bit so now it kind of sits in back in the in the background i could copy a couple a couple of these right here and have them sent to the back so now i want to add like a little tree like a dead tree so i could just keep adding shapes here and this right here is kind of perfect i'm just gonna copy this like have a little uh have the branches kind of cover the moon a little bit so that way it can have that nice shadow slash silhouette type of thing now the most important thing about this is i want to add some clouds so it add, it gives it a nice like dark darker vibe right like um let's see i don't know if i can oh like this one this one is kind of cool i'm getting it from the same author by the way laramie which is kind of funny but um we'll grab this and we're gonna change the opacity a little bit while this tab is on to about like maybe 40, right? 40 is great. Um, put this guy in the back, send this guy to the back right here. And now you can see that our Halloween presentation is kind of coming to life. Now, what I'm gonna do is, this is optional, but you could definitely add pumpkins. So I'm gonna look for a pumpkin here. Oh, this one's a great one right here, right? by the way. I'm just gonna copy this image, paste it, and I'm going to, I could definitely like add him, uh, I don't know, somewhere over here, right? Like on these, you know, it looks it looks pretty great to me in my in my honest opinion. Like it looks pretty spooky. Now, the only thing that it's missing is obviously your your bullet points, your details, your title, and what whatever, whatever you want, right? So I'm just gonna add a text here, right? I'm gonna insert a text box. And I can definitely make this into my title slide or really just bullet points, right? So if I wanna make this into my title slide, I'm just gonna type in my Halloween presentation. Now look at this. I wanna just make it bold. 
I'm gonna amp up the size here a little bit to maybe about like 60. That'll be great. I'm gonna just kind of expand this so it doesn't, you know, go in like many lines. So there you go. And now what I can do is change this font color to like an orange, like a pumpkin color. Oh, like that, that's perfect, right? So I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. And now the font isn't really fitting. What we wanna do is we wanna grab more fonts here and actually look up for this font called Creepster. Creepster is an awesome font and it gives off that Halloween vibe, right? Like, ooh. And you don't need, really need to bold it because it's already kind of uh, thick to begin with. And yeah, you can definitely see here that you have this nice Halloween presentation theme going on. If you want, you can always copy and paste this um, to have a second slide. And you, let's just say you wanna make this into the bullet points. So you could always have a 24 um, size font and really just start like, you know, point one here, point two, point three, right? Um, and so on and so forth. And you can see how you could keep on going with this, um, this theme right here. Why we should be pumpkin, I don't know, right? This is just super random. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm writing, but you can see here that I can modify this, put this right in the middle right here. And then you could have now your like a bullet point slides, right? You can see that everything here is really easy to read. You can see that uh, the contrast colors between uh, like orange and purple is great because the purple in the back is really, really dark and great. And the orange really highlights it. Okay, so now that you have this theme completed, this initial theme, you can actually be as creative as you want with it. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that, right? So for example, I could just copy this again and paste it. And this time I'm gonna remove all this, these text elements, right? And just have the bare background. But what I can do here is I can actually try to move things around and have different like, I don't know, different vibes to it. So for example, I wanna make a witch's like a potion brewing thing in the background, right? So I'm gonna keep the background here the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete all these little elements here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a cauldron because witches obviously brew their stuff on a cauldron, right? So there you go. This looks pretty evil to me. It looks like somebody's trying to like brew something up. So I could paste this here, copy it, send it down over here. So I'm gonna have uh, put more trees in the back. So I'm gonna type in dead tree and you can see here, there's a lot of like dead tree um, vibes going on here. So I could just copy this one, paste it here, put this one kind of more towards the back. And I, I could always change the opacity down to uh, lower it, or I could just recolor it to just have it really black, just the way, you know, just the way everything is already here. So you could play around with this a little bit more. You could turn on the brightness here to make it really, really dark. Um, but I'm gonna keep it at around like 75 like this. Keep it in the back, keeping the same the same vibe going. Yeah, I could like I could, like kind of like add this rock here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm going to just paste it here, and you see this rock right here. I'm gonna just like lower it down a little bit, change the brightness to really really dark again, and just really tone it down so it doesn't like look that um, bright, right? Tone it down, move it a little bit down here. Now I can look for potion because the potion is obviously what the witch is gonna brew. And I'm gonna copy this here, paste the potion here, and really just resize this, and have it like this, sitting on this rock. All, all I'm doing for this rock is that I'm having like a placeholder for the witch to kind of brew her own stuff. So I'm gonna put that there. Let's see, what other potions are there? This one is kind of cool, but I wish it's colored. Oh, this is sick, this one right here. It has like a little skull. It looks really evil, right? Like the witch is gonna brew some really evil stuff. So I'm gonna put this here and all I have to do is just add the witch. So the witch could be, you know, in the front or really in the background. But what I could do here is I could just copy this witch's hat. If you don't want the witch, it's um, the witch herself there. You could just put this hat here and just like have it hanging on this tree. You could just really be as creative as you want, however creative you want with this. And Probably also have a broom or, you know, really just have a witch flying in the back, right? That could just be the witch's spare hat or something. <laughs> um, and then just put this witch here, flying in the background. Like so. I'm gonna move this witch over here and there you go. So now you can see that we've created a different theme for this Halloween presentation, but it really keeps the same motive, like the same background, the same moon placement. This tree is also here, but you, you know, you can move it around if you want and have it like a witch themed slide. Now, obviously you can be as creative as you want with this and try to you know move your words elsewhere. So perhaps maybe I could have like a little rectangle here in the front and not have it block any of this stuff, but also keep the color dark. 
Oops, I'm gonna make the color black. No outline for this one. And just change the opacity. So opacity could be, um, you change the opacity from here, sorry. This custom color here and change the opacity down to about like maybe 45. So now you have this. I can move the switch here so he's she's more visible in the background. And now you can put your you know bullet points here. So I can just copy this, paste this, and really just you know talk about different things like I don't know. Move this in the middle. Why celebrate Halloween? Right. I don't want it to be a bullet point for this one. I want it to be for the title. Make it a little bit more up right here. Centering this right now. Boom. There you go. And you can even make this a little bit bigger. It really is up to you how, how big you want this. Um, I just like to have the witch not really blocked. So we could try to make the witch here. Or if you want, you can even make the witch like on the moon, which I think looks kind of sick. So just to recap, here's the uh, PowerPoint slide that we made. And again, this is the front one. These, these are the couple other ones. So you can see here that there's definitely a difference between the two slides. One of them is a graveyard or a tombstone type of a vibe. And the next one is like a witch's lair type of vibe. So, so with that being said, you guys can be as creative as you want with this. Again, the resource I use is flat icon. I use Creepster for the font. And you know, go ahead and go crazy. Experiment with the different things that you guys have made and feel free to just share them with me in the comments on the themes that you've made. Hopefully you guys find this tutorial useful and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you all in the next video.